so yeah the i think the, the greatest takeaway in, inspired from the dev training for me was the uh, i mean two of the main features i i i, I was wanting to really go deep on with this uh, member improves and capabilities and so um i guess i was inspired to work on a on an on an app which would use both of those features um this particular app is um kind of a a take on the cal calendary uh where people schedule to meet each other so it's quite it's it seems a relatively simple use case but um uh, i wanted to go explore a way of doing it on holochain and web3 and so what i've got here as you can see is like this is diagram illustrates the architecture uh there are uh three 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 dnas three cell type dhts one is a, the discovery network where people find each other. And here I've got an example of uh, three agents who, who can pretend, who potentially interact. And um, what I wanted to get across was, so the in the, the there is a, a public network where people find each other. And then there's these two private um, membraned networks where they actually do a kind of um, communication exchange and information exchange. So this is a, like a particular uh, a pattern where mo most of the apps we build in Holochain are, are like in the Wii space where everything is open and public and people are playing together. This, this one is more designed on, um, I'm actually harvesting my personal data and keeping it in my, my own private DHT of my own devices. So it's kind of like a, a MySpace app or something like that. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so uh, then, so I have, aside from the discovery DHT, I have a uh, ephemeral DHT and a private DHT. And so the ephemeral one is, is, is kind of a temporary clone where people uh, make uh, kind of communication exchange and then and then it's um, then it then it's destroyed, and the data is is kept on their 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 uh, private DHTs. Um, <clears throat> I'm calling it like transapp DNA because I want to it to persist um, beyond one specific app, in the sense that when when you 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 have your personal space personal DHT, you you're taking that to different different apps. So you don't, you're not like um, the idea is that you 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 in, you create one of one of them on your device and then that that persists and interacts with other other apps that you install. Um, so then that's in a nutshell. Uh, so yeah, examples maybe are sh sharing personal data, email scheduling, medical data. Um, so like briefly. Um, I try not to go into too much detail, but the there are uh, mem as a membrane proof um, where people uh, can see each other uh, and join a network together, and then there's uh, a capability pattern for um, for 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 a cell to cell uh, transfer of data. Um, so then, yeah, I use the. Um, the scaffolding tool, and here's my app manifest. Uh, and I'm I'm focusing on the zero two um, and zero zero three implementation. So this is where uh, um, clone only strategy is 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 not currently working, but I've been helping to test it. Um, and so yeah, you can see that my three um, my three role cell cell roles. Um, then on further that I've done this is what I call a communication diagram. It shows it shows state sequence uh, and structure, um, and it's these I color code the the uh, the types of entries, the purple being the input. DTOs, yellow being output DTOs, uh, green are the entries, and then the, the, the red is the, the actions. And the state here is reflected between the agent uh, using links, and it could be also be uh, anchors. 
uh this is for this this covers the the what uh the membership proof uh part of the 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 app um where they find each other in discovery network and then um uh one one person in this case gives grants the other person a membership proof to join his uh personal uh, ephemeral network uh which, which is a private one and then from there um this the whole the whole uh, like use case about scheduling where there's booking and appointments comes into play there's a kind of a negotiation uh period uh where they decide on when they're going to have the the, uh, the appointment um and what i was trying to focus on was was doing this kind of so there's less 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 communication via the web socket and more kind of cell to cell communication um so like i'm putting more of the logic on the holochain side uh so that uh they can like interact once and then um they shouldn't have to shouldn't have to like like they can just have their machine on the machine can kind of kind of do like some of the the logical steps and i have a sequence diagram to reflect that um at some point uh yeah and so finally i don't know how much time i have left uh but i can come back i can go back through these again in more detail my my last um slide is my uh front end architecture and here um i'm working on how to um this is this is kind of a design of working on to to kind of reflect what's happening on the back end it's a cell driven architecture where um i wanted to scaffold i wanted to work with the concept of a json schema being reflecting the api and then being able to scaffold a uh, Redux store and a receptor service. Uh, here, the receptor service is a term I came up with, which captures the all of the API of the app and some of the uh, signaling state. Um, and um, yeah, I, I can go into more detail on how that works. Um, but the yeah, in the end, I'm I'm quite close to having a, 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 a scheduling app which will help people to kind of like uh, arrange arrange meeting appointments and the ui is basically just a calendar so but uh i think what excited me about this was being able to um to try a particular architecture and to experiment with some of the the new features coming up for holochain <laughs>